Welcome back. In the last video, we set up a power bar so we can see how much power our character needs to win. Now we need to get started setting up some code to show what winning and losing really means. We're going to make an enum to store the current playing state, whether that's playing, game over, or the game has been won. Then we can start using this state to determine other blueprint and C++ behavior. So let's go back to our game mode code. And in the header file, we're actually going to make a custom enum to store the state of our game. So that means it's actually going to go above U class here in our header file. So this is going to be an enum to store the current state of gameplay. And we're going to use a macro very similar to the U class, U property, U function macros we've used previously. But we're going to make this a blueprint type. And this will allow us to use it later in our HUD blueprint. So declare I just enum class, and we're going to call this e battery play state. And our four states are going to be playing, game over, all prefixed with e just for the, the naming scheme, uh, one, and unknown just so that we have a default state to handle. Um, if things aren't set. So after we've defined that battery play state, we actually need a variable to store it, and we're going to make it private. The reason it's going to be private is we don't want to be able to change it in any other class, just within the code of our game mode. We actually don't have a private section in here, so we're just going to create one right here. And this will be e battery play state and current state. And let's just put a quick comment on that to keep track of the current playing state. Now because this variable is private, but we still probably want to read it from our HUD or communicate with our game mode to set it, we can make uh, getter and setter functions. And those are both going to be public. Again, this should be pretty familiar at this set in the tutorial, but we'll go ahead and uh, start setting these up here. So first we'll do the getter, which will be return e battery play state and get current state. Again, this one is const because we really want to ensure there's no way to manipulate the current state in this code. And then we'll have the setter that set current state. And that will take, of course, a battery play state as an argument and we'll call that new state. And we at least know we're going to want to get the current state for our HUD, so we can go ahead and mark this up as a U function that's blueprint pure, because it's not going to manipulate the state at all in the power category. Right now, I happen to know that we're just going to set the state in code. But if we did want to uh, change the game state from a blueprint, like maybe in a main menu, we could go ahead and add a U function macro here. But in the course of this tutorial, we wouldn't use that. So again, let's throw a quick comments on here to uh, return the current playing state. And this will be set a new playing state. Now we can go make our getters and setter function bodies in the game mode source file. We'll just go ahead and do that right here um, below the get power to win. So the battery play state. And get current state. Oh a battery collector game mode. Gotta put the class name on there first. And then again put const on there so it'll compile correctly. And that's just going to return current state. And then our setter, which will just be a void function, a battery collector game mode, set current state. And again that takes battery state, which I'll just copy from there to save a little bit of typing, of new state as our argument. And 
it's very straightforward here. Current state is just equal to new state. And we'll do a little bit more handling of the new state in future videos, but for right now, it's enough to say that if this function is called, change the current state to the new state that's been requested. Now, when does playing begin? Like, when should the game mode switch to uh, playing as a state? Probably on begin play. And we should make sure to do it before we do anything else, so that if anything needs to rely on our play state, we can uh, already have the game state set to playing. So we will just set current state to e battery play state e playing. And let's just build this really quick and see if that helps with some of the IntelliSense errors that we're getting. And then the other place that we're currently want to add whether or not we are playing would be in that tick function where we are checking the current power level and seeing if it's uh, positive or not. So that's right here. It's our battery game mode, battery collector game mode tick function. And if my character's current power is positive, then we want to decrease it. But we don't want to do that if we've already won or already lost the game. So let's put a couple more conditional statements in here. We do want to already have checked that we have our character. And now we can add another if. So if uh, my character uh, get current power is greater than power to win, then we want to say set the current state to 1. And we can go ahead and use autocomplete and e1. And because we put if, and we don't really want to go through this loop if we've already won, you know, we don't want to decrease the power if we have already won the game, then this needs to become else if. And let's put a comment here. If our power is greater than needed to win, set the game's state to 1. And then we've got so we've got three states. We have if the game is 1, so our power is greater than the power to win. We've got if it's positive but not greater than power to win, we can start decreasing it, having that power be decaying. And then if it's negative, if it follows through that as well, um, then we will set the state to game over. If your power is negative at that point, you will have lost the game. game over. And if you notice right here when we're decaying the power, we're not resetting it to um, playing because we should still be in the playing state if it's, if it's decreasing. The only time it would change is if we've got more power than needed to win or we had so little power we went negative and the game is over. That way we don't necessarily go through any other transitions, you know, reset the playing state multiple times. Now let's find a way to display this within our HUD. Let's go back to the editor and compile so that code will be running. And we'll make a text box <coughs> in our HUD that will show uh, instructions if we're currently playing or game over or you win for the winning and losing states. So let's go find our blueprint and our battery HUD, which is already open here. And we'll put a text box up here in the top. So here in the palette, we'll find text and drag that in. And we'll just quickly compile with nut. Let's see. Battery collector get current power, function call missing. Oh, let's go check that out. 
oh, we just forgot the parentheses there. So if you notice, if my character get current power, that is actually a function call. It's not directly accessing a variable, so we need to make sure that that has the parentheses there. Now we can come back, close this out, and compile again. Oops, that's compiling the blueprint. Compile the code. <laughs> um, while that's, we're working on that, we'll go to the text block. We will anchor this one to the top of the screen. Um, the position looks pretty good. We can make the x zeroed up. Uh, let's go ahead and make that 50 on the y position. We can make the text block. Um, actually, we'll size it to content because we're going to give it a couple different strings. And then we'll align it 0.5 on x so that it's centered in the middle of the screen there. Now, if you notice, we've, under content, there's the text, and we can click on bind to create a binding. And for this, we're just going to return different text depending on the play state. So we have to get the game mode because that's what contains our play state. And then cast that to our battery collector game mode. And again, you can either keep this cast. In fact, we actually will just because uh, to show how that would work. So you could connect that here and then only have the return node fired if the cast is successful. So then off of the game mode, we can get the current state. And that's that function we just created. And if you right click on this um, enum pin, or actually drag off of it, and then enter select, you can see this node appears where um, you get an input pin for every state of the enum and then a return value that will, we can connect to our string. And as we connect that, it will actually switch all of these to uh, text that can be returned. So while we're playing, we can say press C to collect batteries. We'll give a little bit of instructions. For game over, we'll put in game over, obviously. And then for you won, we can just type in you win. The unknown will just leave as a default state, so if no text shows up, we know that we've fallen into that unknown uh, state. We've already got this set as our HUD, so we can compile and save, and then go ahead and start playing. And you can see it up at the top, it says press C to collect batteries. I'll probably change the size of that a little bit later on when playing with the, the polish for the level, but. Now you can see as we collect all the batteries, oh, I filled up the bar completely, and now it says you win. Obviously, if I were to restart, um, hopefully we'd get the drain down and it would say game over when we lost, but that's just to show the uh, new game mode state changing text on our HUD. In the next video, we'll do a little bit more with that game state code. Thanks!